Where do you get your information from? Is it Auntie News GPT? Is it some pop star on Twitter or Insta? Or is it your favorite Twitch streamer playing a video game? All of those and more are open to what's called cyber information influence or disinformation. Let's define three things. There's misinformation, which is just inaccurate or false news. Somebody says something that they don't know is wrong or inaccurate, they're just telling information. Disinformation is misinformation with the intent, and that intent is to manipulate one's behavior and or belief. Then we have fake news, which you've all heard of in popular discourse, which is disinformation presented from or as if it's an authoritative source, like a news article. And what I'm going to tell you about now, my friends, is something I've recently discovered in my research on misinformation and disinformation. What we need is something called a semiotic. The semiotic is a symbol or a signal. Imagine a stop sign. We may not know what a stop sign is, but once that symbol has been explained to us, in driver's education for instance, we understand what it signifies. That's what we need for intent. With a little bit of machine learning magic, we can create what's called a semiotic square. And rather than being stuck in a definition of this is or is not disinformation, what we get is a nice double axis of a degree of deception, and thus we can infer intent. And not to leave us without concrete examples, because this is science, here's something I found. More often than not, disinformation has more nouns, proper nouns specifically. It has more adjectives and adverbs. And if you look at these two examples, I bet you can see the difference. Count the nouns, count the verbs, count the adjectives. I don't know about you, but I've found in my life that if there's a different way to consume information, it makes me pay more attention. And so where my research is now at the cutting edge is not reading the results, it's hearing the results. This is an example of an extraction from a large language model played as tones. With tools like this and others that are being developed in this field of study, we have a way to control our future lives and the information we consume.